Hey there, look, if you're creating videos and you are somewhat committed, you realize the value of quality royalty free music. But we all want to maximize our budget, that's where I come in. My name is Eric and I've been a subscriber to nearly every big music licensing service for a couple of years now and it is about time for a 2024 update on which platform truly offers the best value for your money. Quick note, this video isn't endorsed by any of the brands I'll talk about. The views are 100% my own and cannot be bought despite the fact that I have had paid sponsorship in other videos. So if you find this guide useful, I've dropped some affiliate links below and they come with some neat bonuses like getting extra months for free and that kind of thing. For those of you who want more details, you can also check out individual reviews about each service that I linked in the description below. Let's dive right in. I've narrowed it down to four services I've personally had experience with. We've got YouTube favorites called Artlist and Epidemic Sound, the high-end music bed and the wallet-friendly audio. There are some other minor players, but I don't think they really make the cut. Now, before we jump into the new and shiny things, let's take a quick look back at what we've discovered last year. So I created this scorecard, which I'll overlay, where I ranked all kinds of factors. And there are basically two services that gathered the most points. Artlist stood out as a winner in terms of flexibility. They have a lot of music and a lot of rather professional and cinematic sounding options. The commercial options also allow you flexibility to use the music in client productions and so on. Plus, they are not only a music licensing platform anymore, but instead an all-in-one platform, which also includes stuff like editing templates and stock footage and these kind of things. Then there's Epidemic Sound, another very solid choice, especially if you are a YouTuber. Their music vibes tend to be a bit more playful and I would say this is kind of perfect for those like snappy vlogs or the kind of explainer videos and this kind of thing. The only disadvantage that I discovered was the fact that Epidemic was one of the earliest players in the game in that 2017-2018 period on YouTube and because of that, some of the popular music on their platform can feel a little bit overused at times. And one feature that I really love about Epidemic Sound is the fact that you can download stems, which are like individual parts of a song. So you can isolate the bass line and vocals and all of that kind of stuff, which is a super cool feature. On the other side, we had Musicbed. Now, if you're in for that premium, high quality sound, Music bed was your go-to, but, and it's a very, very big, but their outdated pricing model felt like it was stuck in 2018, which is really sad because you can't really access their awesome music unless you bring a comparably high budget, which is kind of multiple times higher than the other services. So it's almost not suitable for YouTubers unless money is not an issue. So Musicbed felt a little bit like the loser for me, not because of the quality of the music, but just because of the price, which is really sad. And lastly, audio, the budget-friendly option of the lot. They didn't have as big of a selection, but what they do is pretty solid. And they are the only ones who offer a lifetime membership offer, absolute killer value for money. In the end, I had concluded that Artlist and Epidemic Sounds were the overall champs, in my opinion, with audio not so far behind as a solid budget option. Music bed, despite really awesome music, they needed to catch up, especially with their pricing. Now, fast forward to 2024, and let me tell you, there have been some updates. So let's get into it. First up, there is something pretty neat for all of you Premiere Pro users out there. Both Artlist and Epidemic Sound offer plugins that allow you to browse their music library right within Premiere Pro. That is super handy if you want to speed up your workflow and find the perfect track without constantly like tabbing out. I don't know if, it, if that's in a dictionary, but I mean like making a lot of tabs in your browser. Tabbing out, not like an MMA. 
you know what I mean. Now, neither Musicbed nor Audio offer this feature, so they miss out on the bonus points here. The next one is called Artificial Intelligence. Now, Epidemic Sound has added an AI feature, which is called Sound Match. And it basically has the ability to understand the content of your scene and tailor music recommendations based on that. From how I understand how this works, it's kind of powered by the large amount of data that Epidemic Sound collects from the large amount of YouTube videos that features their music. So if you're struggling with choosing the right vibe for a specific part of your video, then simply hit the sound match button. And it doesn't just save you time, but also potentially enhances the emotional impact of your video by providing tracks that are just the right fit. Now, lastly, an important note on Artlist, this platform has evolved into more than just the music library. You can now find editing templates and stock footage as part of their offering. It's a bit like an all-in-one creative hub now, and while being in the context of a music licensing review, this might seem a bit like we're comparing apples and oranges here, but in my opinion, it is incredibly convenient to have all of these resources under one roof, and all you gotta do is upgrade your existing package to include those extra perks. So what is the final tally for 2024? I think not too much has changed in terms of the quality and the amount of music and those kind of things, but I think Epidemic Sound and Artlist are still neck to neck in that game. I really like the fact that Epidemic allows you to download individual parts of a song and their playful YouTuber style music is quite cool as well. The sound match feature is definitely a nice touch and it's good to see AI features also getting implemented in those platforms. On Artlist, I really like their cinematic style and slightly more professional touch, plus the fact that you can basically expand your subscription to Artlist Max and then add other assets is super, super good. So I think in 2024, everyone wants to shortcut and have a bit of access to those type of templates and it's definitely very, very tempting. But once again, in the end, it comes down a little bit to your personal taste. Your mileage may vary based on your personal preferences in the end. So don't just take my word for it, but try them out yourself. Affiliate links are in the description. So there you have it. If this rundown helped you in any form, then feel free to hit the like button. I ask for nothing else. And if you're new here, I'm Eric. I'm from Germany and this channel is all about travel, photography, videography and everything in between. So I'll leave a playlist that you might find interesting. And if you want to hang out with me in the future, you know what to do. Until next time, peace.